but I got the gist of what's going on with you. So let me see if I can get this straight. So controversial company, Super Eagle is messing with your money. You dropped the trailer off. You went home. They called you up and they was like, hey, did you do the delivery? You like, no, nah, you guys owe me some money. And then you said, bump all this. Let me go ahead and get the laws involved. So you got the law involved. But while they supposed to be on your side, they switched up on you. So, bro, take it from there. What what actually happened? What, what's going on with you, my guy? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Man. So, these motherfuckers, man. They still call me, bro, when I call the block. When I call the block, I call the block. But I'm not united with this kind of guy. I'm not even there. My record, man. Dumb six. I, like, you know what happened to J.B. Hunt? Shit like that. I'm about to tell you. When they, when they come to shit like that, uh, I don't play about my son that. So, when they talking about some, uh, they're here, you know, we're holding, you know, a load in here, you know, whatever. You know, I told him to tell him the money. You know, he's right like, here. So when I saw the cop, uh, the cop was basically, he was kind of pissed off because he didn't label all the way what happened before I put him on three ways. So I'm here that, uh, Colin out in the box in that he can charge me, you know, spent, he can charge me, and, uh, basically, I had to break down my Monday this fucking time. And, uh, I mean, last Monday, Monday now. Last Monday, I had a break down. Yeah, so I was broke down Monday. Mind you, supposed to pay for the whatever you done that week, right? Any any breakdown, every, you know, any uh, deduction, deduction, anything. Any job, right? There is money to Sunday. So any job, bro, like everybody knows you're responsible. Whatever your paycheck is or a settlement or whatever the hell it is, and you get paid in your bank account and your paycheck with it's sold, it's supposed to be for that week. What they see the ass did was basically I broke down Monday. I paid four hundred and fifty six dollars. Well they paid four hundred and fifty six dollars. They were supposed to take that out of my settlement next next Friday or something I did this week. These people um took that they took that payment and they added to my settlement from last week, from that Monday. You understand? Okay. You was in the negative the last week? The negative? Okay, okay. So I've been with this company for three weeks. Uh, this this Sunday, this Sunday that has makes it three weeks. My first check, they charged me for a, basically the same thing they did now. That's why I wanted to, they charged me for a gas bill, a big bill that I did the following Monday morning. They added it to my settlement that I'm supposed to get Friday when they're supposed to put that on it a few days ago. So instead of me having $900 for that check or whatever, but I, I know instead of me getting $700 for that check, I got $500 something dollars for that check or whatever. Mind you, my truck payment is $300. It's not high. So that's why I went to business when they told me I could get $300. I mean, a truck. So I'm like, dude, if I play my games like $300 compared to people paying six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800, I should be able to, you know, I got room to work with just to catch my gross don't be that high. I still to bring home a thousand or whatever, nine hundred. I'm cool with that right now. So that's not what happened. My first check, they prorated. Mind you, prorated. My truck and my trailer, it was only eighty dollars. Eighty for they charged me eighty eight for my truck, eighty eight for my trailer. They charged me a pro rated for my uh, my insurance, everything, right? But they added my boss trailer insurance and my uh, what's the other thing? This other insurance, a registration, something you're supposed to pay once a month. They put them, they put that crap on my first paycheck. When I grow, I think I go forty five hundred, something like that. Of one load, I go forty five hundred, and they 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 made sure they put the, the monthly payment on that instead of doing it helping me out. You know, it's my first check. They could have put it on this Friday that time. They put it on that. So I I I to the game, and I was like, okay, two those charges are over with or whatever. They can't charge me again for that and play with my check. So next check, let me go high so I can get a good amount to make up for what I lost last week. So I grow 6K, 5.8, something like that, right? So this time, I know they're going to take the whole $300 from my truck, 2 225 for my trailer. They're going to take the cargo insurance, and, and that's to be it. So yeah, ELD, they never took the 150 ELD. So they took it from this check. So I knew when that was going to come, right? And then my diesel, that's all they should have been. I got my check Friday, which was two days ago. I got my check Friday. They added all of that plus my breakdown, ELD, which is they were supposed to put down my first check. So they'd be smitten, seduction. They basically 
they pick and choose when they want to add adjustments on your on your setup, depending on how much you make. And his lady literally told me that on the phone, like it's no problem. He said, we go off how much you make. How much you make is what we take off. If he's got a good check, we might have, if he didn't give you, if he didn't, like this man, two months, then he's going to take out the bar town and they're ready. The bar town is like 550. The registration is 400, something like that. Oh, so another thing I forgot. They charged me the 550 for the bar town, and they charged me $400 for the registration the first check. This check I've got, they charged me for the freaking registration again for $150. So now I'm like, yo, there's no check, you know, there's no check. Hey, you know, when you, you know you get a breakdown from the company and you know what's coming out, you know, okay, they can only take this much from this company. They just got down, they just make up everything. So I got pissed off about that. And then I raised when I seen that they put my 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 breakdown that to me, bro. So it's almost like, okay, say you broke down Thursday and you expecting a settlement from last week, Friday, which is the next day, they'll put that if you grow high enough that week, they'll put that breakdown so they won't help you out and put it to the settlement, bro. Instead of waiting next week to put it on the settlement like normal people do. So I got pissed the hell off and I got rent to pay. I got all these bills to pay. And I knew I probably could make it work because I have a little truck payment. But yeah, all the things that people say in the video, they're saying, you know, everything about ego and they stealing and all that. I took accountable to that. Like, I took accountability to, you know, me for going over there. But damn, a $300 truck Payment too. And the beer too, only really because I ran out of gas. Because they, they got rules on their cars. I couldn't go to a mom and pop because I only got my 50 gallons and I can't get gallons no more. So I had to go to a goddamn um, pilot. But the pilot was like, he was away from me and I broke and I, and I ran out of gas. So they basically, if you run out of, if you, if you, if you put down anything, they use that as an excuse to freak with your, 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 your payment. If they don't add to that payment, they'll make you feel like, they forgot about it, you like like they forgot about it or whatever, and then they'll make it sure they put it on there out of nowhere along with all these other charges all together to take your whole set. So when I find out they do, uh, which I'm going to send you the, you know, I'm going to send it to you. So you, I told them that I'm not trying to lie with them no more, and I drove the truck home. And when I drove the truck home, they blew my phone up, and they told me that basically you're, you're holding my truck for ransom or whatever for your pay. And I went off on the ass, and I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I'm not. You're still, like, basically, I'm extorting them or whatever. So when you start playing the police game, because I don't, I don't got time to leave. I called the police in Clearwater Largo, and I let them know what's going on. And he called me back, but they was already on the phone when he, when he called me. So when I tried to put three ways, and I and I quickly sort of come like, yo, I'm a, I'm a disgruntled, you know, employee. I work for Super Ego. They, uh, they, they got a lot of I didn't listen, but it's twice, and they forced me to try to be low that I don't want to be. And uh, I just want to leave this truck wherever it's at, or whatever. I don't want to be responsible for it. But I want you to hear this lady, this lady speak, and uh, basically incriminate herself, basically stealing my money. He's like, okay, okay. I put them on three way, and when I put them on three way, the energy changed because. When I started talking to make the lady repeat herself, I'm like, oh, this is how the real world works, man. You don't have to whenever you want to add, bro. People got bills to pay. You don't think the last month of the, the last week of the, the last week of the month, people got freaking bills on a person to pay? They got rent to pay, bro. Why would you take some some dollars from me, bro? Like that. Well, you know that happened on Monday. And she's like, because it's our policy. It's our policy. We can do that. We can do that. So that's what I wanted him to do. He ended up cutting me off. And he said, hey, 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 hey. I do now. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on or everything. William been explaining me fully what's going on. That's how I know. When he said that, I know he was basically, you know how cops is. He, he was pissed off that I got him. I basically, I made it seem like, he, he probably made, trying to make it seem like I'm trying to make him choose my side. And I got the cops on my side or whatever. And, you know. But, you know, I just try to cover my butt. So when I told him, you know, he went off and he was like, yo, William, he just a, a minute on the phone that he commit, he's committing three felonies. He started naming them. And one of them was extortion. I'm like, huh? So he a cop. And he was in my city. So I'm not even trying to like, you know, I ain't trying to go off on him or none of that. I ain't, I ain't even trying to get really wild. They already know my address and all that. So, you know, when I did a police report, they got my address. So I just let him and I just had to hold everything up. And he basically was like, you know, and uh, you can make this and that or whatever. You can't do that. You got cargo or whatever. You have to uh, finish the load and bring the truck back 
to wherever they are at. You can't do it like that or whatever. It's it's it's, it's called. So you got one that was grand theft. Another one was extortion. They said that he basically saying that if you don't give me this, then I'm not going to do this or whatever. So that put a battery on her back. And she was happy as hell when he said all that. And he also was like, yeah, so if you have any problem, ma'am, let me know. Let me know. This is my number. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is my badge number. I'm like, this is my badge number. And um, all these other shit, bro. So, and then he was like, I got to go. I got to go. You know what So he can make me feel like shit. Like, I can't, like, eat or try to, you know. And he hung up. So she was like. Next thing you did get the load here, I hung up. Then the bitch tries to call me. Get low here. There's going to be criminal charges on you if you don't get the load here. It's going to be criminal to fuck you. No, you know, huh? Then the big boss of the whole bitch tries called me or whatever. And he was like, look, man, you're not going to be too good for you. If you don't get this load tomorrow, and if you don't deliver the load tomorrow, uh, you're going to go to jail. Man, you got his number. You just talk to the cop. You try to scare me with that shit. And then I was like, I told my wife about it, and I got a daughter and all that. I'm trying to, I got a, I just got employed with somebody else. And I mean, start next week. So I was just like, man, I ain't trying to be like that private, man. I knew that whatever that girl was, I went to jail and I was on your podcast. You know, I keep thinking about her. So you know how they, you know, they talk about us, bro. So when that happened, bro, I was just like, man, let me just take this stuff down here. Take it. They wanted me to take, drop the load off. It's already late. And then you already know what they're going to do. They're going to put me for another load to go back to Chicago. They're going to make me go there empty. I don't make no money. So I'm making money for them. And I don't get shit for both of these loads. I know they, they don't pay me when I last. Time. And I ain't making no money this way. They had me sitting the whole week with a load. I had that load since Friday, man. I right, dropped money. Sorry. It's a holiday. Woody, woody, woody. So that's where I'm at right now, man. I'm, um, I got, you know, I got food and I'm driving a truck back to the trailer. At least back to the trailer. So I talked to a DOT officer. He told me I'm not, I don't have to do free labor if I don't, I don't, I can resign if I want to and leave the truck trailer regardless if it's empty or not. And if it's spot, as long as it don't get stolen or damaged. If it's stolen or damaged, they can come at me with a lawsuit. That's it. So, but it's so, no, it should be, it should actually be criminals or damage. That's what he said. That's the only thing. I'm like, nah, I'm going to be there at a pilot. I'm going to have a part at a spot where it can, at a pilot. They can do it. They, they can call the recovery people to send it home. I don't care about it being a lay and a broker not messing with them and none of that. And by the way, when I got the loan, they told me to come in at Windy City when I'm E7 Logistics. So I, I found it odd. I'm like, it was Thursday right before pay. I would have never got that loan if I knew what I, what was going what was gonna happen the next day when I got paid. If I would have got paid and stuff, you no, know, I would have been, you know, forget them and then you know go straight to Florida without no mind or nothing because it's like I don't got no load on me. But I don't know how the law is when you get a load on me and that's be pretty much but then I figured he's a kidding cop, man. So it's like you don't know the laws like that with the so the, the you know deal is like you good if you just take the truck back to the connection with the trailer so it can't get stolen because it's gonna be on you you just got the truck off so that's what I'm doing now man wow I, I I guess I'm gonna have to ask you the questions that everybody is gonna ask you're only three weeks with the company. I'm going to assume that you knew what they was about before you even got into it. What was your reason for giving them the benefit of the doubt? Like, I mean, I'm sure you heard all of the reviews. You've seen all the videos. Why, why did you think you can do better than everybody else that you possibly heard in the past? Um, why, like I told you before, is because I know people who are having six, fifty, seven hundred, eight hundred payments. So when I did the math or whatever, um, and I see that and get a drill in there, I came up there with a mindset way anybody want a pretty nice when they ride, I'm just trying to get my money and my bread. So I'm like, and they complaining about my payments and then the, the diesel and all that, and they play around and all that. I feel like I can get around that if I got a, you know, an old ass truck, you know, that can give me A to B. It's not breaking down or none of that. And I can, you know, run, you know, make a great, a good growth or whatever. So I'm thinking in my head, yeah, I'm going to grow 7K or whatever, no matter what. So I didn't have no problem with the dispatch like usually people usually do or whatever. I only got to, I, I didn't even get to pick the load for so the load for us. You don't get to pick the load at all. I, every time I tried, he kept saying, oh, it's something better. Oh, we can't do that. Like, you know, so I let her do it, but she was giving me loads. Like, you know, the guy was go here and there, 29, you go here and there, you know. So like, I was like, all right, this must be work. If I grow uh, this high, I'm going to be handing out some payments and sellers or whatever. I only get one, you know, one, one month and I'll take that. 
So the registration now, I should be able to, you know, to take home 2000 So that was, that's why I did it, man. I, I was a knucklehead. I think kind of did it and all that. But I knew what I was coming, I was going into, man. But I didn't know even like, 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 even with a low pain, you know, you can still get fucked over if it's high. I didn't know that. If I would have known that they added diesel from the new week and putting it to the, they did that to me. They added diesel from the new week and they, added, they put it to the, uh, to, to, to the, from, to last week. For the sediment, you're going to get flooded. They did that twice to me, though. So I didn't know that. If I would have known that, 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 you know, they'll be straight up playing with your effect like that, I would have never, I swear to God, I would have never came. Unfortunately, you buy behind down the way and you run out of fuel. How was that possible, bro? I mean, was the gauge broke or was, or just grinding and trying to put it? It's a part. You can only fill up in certain places and it makes it very difficult for you. And remember, I told you to have to I came in in the game of knowing how much uh, miles per gallon I'm taking in the car. Uh, like, I didn't play. I didn't even go over six eight miles. I watched my shit, you know, I was getting seven, eight. 7.5, 6.8, you know, a gallon, mm-hmm. or I mean a mile when I ride, and I was going to low, low end places. Mom and Pop, it was 50 gallons. I was playing the system. I was getting 50 gallons because I was, so I wanted to start driving until like around nighttime, get 50 gallons drive, and another 50 gallons after 12 o'clock is the time we start. Right. You allow 20, 50 gallons, but you only allow 250 at pilot or 100 at a lug. Flying days, you allow like one fifty. It's like that in the mom and pop store. I was getting a hundred gallons of playing the game like that. If that, if I need any extra a diesel, I was uh, going to Lowe's or you know, or whatever, get hit with the four dollars cents and stuff like that because it didn't matter. You know, I would put only fifty gallons. Of, I, fifty I, gallons, of, you know. For, I I don't understand this. I don't understand the limitation of the fuel, especially you being a least purchased driver. I mean, you're buying the truck. Why is the fuel being limited to, you know, to a least purchase driver? I I never, I never got that. I mean, I understand them turning the fuel card off, you know, because, you know, that's what they do. But to turn the fuel card on and still limit you to, uh, to what places to go to and how much fuel to get as a least purchase driver? That don't make no sense to me. And I'm exactly like trying to, trying to dictate how much making it like three thousand, twenty five hundred dollars on diesel every six months. That that that's my only conclusion, man. And because they still do sell at pilot, mm-hmm. that they don't get the drivers. Yeah, I see. I hear that. I hear that. They, you know, you're you're not the only person that mentioned that. Uh, somebody else, few people that I have talked to, they say that they do get fuel discounts, but. Yeah, they're they're not passing it on to you guys, but they're making sure they're taking their money out for the fuel, though. Man, where that's their plan? Like, look, they say, and it's Florida. They try to get Florida. I remember I called three of my homeboys. Hey, my homeboys are basically met the master burrito, and we all telling each other like, "Yo, what at the end of the week?" I noticed at the end of the week they came to Florida, and they're making shit there. So on Monday, the excuse is when they give you a city low to get out. The excuse is here in Florida. Sorry. I'm just Get you to a good spot, and then let me get a really, really good load going out of here. And you just gotta take the L. So we're spending like freaking four, five, six hundred dollars on diesel already. That's going to the the rate, the good rate that they already take out the top and get just twenty five percent or whatever. So we only we spending money just to get out of diesel or whatever. So we already had six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, four hundred dollars on diesel in the hole before we can actually. To, 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 to get to other places and they calculate it real good on like what what gas stations are around and stuff like that what diesel places are around what mom and pop like, like you know what you know it, it's real strategized man and I and I read it like I read that and I was just like yeah they say yeah I I, I been gave them two sets and my second set is played around with and now you know on it's uh, expensive or whatever then yeah it's just time for me to go so you know, you know, praise, you know, praise God, man. Um, I have like two trucking companies that called me today when I was at home, and they told me I could start whenever. And then one of them, they wanted me to take a piss test uh, tomorrow, but I held them off because of all that super ego stuff went on. So I told them uh, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, they sent me the alcohol, drug, and test thing. I had to consent to my online. I did that, and I said I'll let you know what I'm gonna do. So you're good for clearing house, pretty much, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't got no sad no nothing. Okay. So back to the call, man. You did you did what you felt you you had to do. You know, you was being accosted, you was being threatened, you know. And I, I, I feel you. you wanted to get the law involved. And say, hey, you know, just hear me, you know, talking to these people, threaten me and everything. But, of course, it backfired mm -hmm. on you. Um, but that's from, you know, the the local point of view. You know, brother man was like, you know, it's Grand Theft Auto. But, I mean, I mean, but what about them not giving me my money, bro? Like, I mean, they, they literally saying that they're not going to pay me. And they haven't. So, I mean, you know, I'm just not delivering the load until they pay me. I mean, that should be, like, fair, right? I it's, just let him talk, man. It's, it's crazy, pretty much right there, backfired on you, but the DOT officer is is correct. You know, drop the truck off at the police station or drop the truck off a safe place, and then just call them up and be like, yeah, man, I, I'm not going to deliver, uh, you know, because you... You explained it right. I'm you sorry. you you going to take their load. You're going to drop it off and they're not going to pay you. But they're not going to let you come back to Chicago empty. So they're going to have oh, you to get oh, to oh. another load and bring it back up to Chicago mm -hmm. for free. So you so you're not getting paid for what you just dropped off and you're not getting paid for what you bringing up. So what 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 is that, bro? So what what you going to do? You going to come to yeah, you're going to come to a common ground, my guy, and just say, hey, I know you guys got repos and, 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 and recovery dudes. Here's where you can come and get your truck at. Where you want me to, where, where you want me to drop the truck off? Where do you want this truck at? That's all you got to tell me. You, you want it right here at the pilot? It's at the pilot. Because I'm not, I'm number one, I haven't got paid for what I already did. So what makes me think that you're going to pay me for dropping off the load? That's your fault now because you F me, you know, and I get you guys. Y'all, 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 y'all want to stick it to the man. I get you, you know, because when it comes to the money, yeah, when it comes to the money, y'all, y'all want some type of payback. I get it. So what the DOT officer told you what to do, the way the DOT officer yep told you what to do is the right way to do it here leave it here at the way station or leave it somewhere safe and let them know where they can come and get their troops because they can't do nothing to you they can't do nothing to you you don't even call them just put it in a text message so you can have some type of uh some type of digital yeah, 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 exactly. you know and just be like hey you know with everything that's going on, I don't think it's going to work out between me and you. You already owe me some money. Uh, I just feel that I'm not going to get paid in this future endeavor. This is where you can come and get your truck. And if I have some money left over, please, you know, just send me the balance of whatever y'all take out, which nine times out of 10, they're going to take it all. But yeah, just do it that way because you know with the they, cop. They told, they even told me uh, they told me because they kept they kept saying how you know I was hanging up shit like that. And I was like, oh, if you do it, if you do it, you don't have to worry about being in Chicago. You said you don't have no money. Yeah, we're, we're still talking just like that story. We're playing. We're, we're I was like, y'all ain't paid a couple months. I had a job four hundred bucks to do it. So, so you can get me all the telling me at the all I don't piss y'all off. Y'all don't the loan's already like two days late now. Brokers probably all y'all at the time y'all y'all uh y'all schedule to have this dropped off and it's not gonna be dropped off and, and y'all know y'all pick y'all pick up. Look at me stupid if I say, Hey man, what my plane is now I gotta take a goddamn greyhound or some shit, take three four days home. I ain't doing that, man. And I'm already dope. Oh, man, I ain't doing that. I, I appreciate you uh reaching out to get to me, man. Now let me ask you this. Now, let me ask you this, man, because, you know, there is going to be a lot of feedback in the comments, man, you know, but what do you got to say to the naysayers of Super Ego, the, the ones that's that's like pro Super the Pro? Yeah, that's pro Super Ego, like, the you know, like the internal people that's that's rocking out with Super Ego, the ones that's making the positive videos and stuff like that. What do you got to say to them? Because I'm sure they going to come in the comment session and say something about it. What you got to say? Definitely hate or some type of hazing thing going on where you get 
So people playing with your money, taking that out for three months, you know, before you get your refund, and all of a sudden, so they, they, they act like a damn, you know, like a company that cares about you. And they, you know, they don't take, they don't take that much out, you know, take care of you and all. That's why I think it is. I feel like they got fucked over like I was in for like two to three months. And then after you get past that, if you talk good, especially if you're on YouTube and all that, they don't fuck with you, bro. They're not going to fuck with your tech. Like people are, are grinding, bro. Like people are getting like 4,000 hours. Like I don't, I don't get like 37. I was in my light on last week, bro. Like, so they go with 10 o'clock, bro. Like, they was, it was so easy, bro. Like, so, matter of fact, I'm going to record. You know what I'm doing? And I'm, I'm probably going to, I'm going to have my girl. I'm going to record, though, and uh, I'm going to ask for more time, bro, so you can hear the whole process. It's like, you know, telling them, okay, I'm going to call you back uh, when it's finished and all that. And I, I even record uh, the time I'm changing from, you know, it'll be red to full eight. Full eight, driving 11, a six, 14. And if you want 70, oh, they're putting on that bitch. So it's like, I ran it, bro. To be an outlaw sucker and all that, bro. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is bad. My shit. I know how to, you know, take care of myself when it comes to be doing all that. No, bro. It's a no go. They're taking all your shit, bro. All your shit. That's why they don't let people get reefers because this right here, people will be pissed off when they steal it from them. And you know how much a reefer our loads be costing? And how much they're paying? And people be leaving on the street. They probably be, you know, bringing it to feeding everybody, everybody, you know, hey, you want pasta goods in, you want some whatever, butter in, you want anything cold, you know, milk. You know, Walmart loan, different things. You can sell all that food. I know that's why they don't give people the research. So you pretty much not in the game unless you got a, you got a research. You talk good about the team, they're going to see it. There's a couple people that I feel like they're more deep in the game than they like really taking care of them type shit, bro. They got nothing to do with trucking, bro. Like, hey, man, they could take two, three billion a, a month, you know. You got to, man. Talk good about the company, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I definitely, I ain't gonna say no names, but I definitely feel like that's what's going on right here, man. So there is some people saying they went in and all that, and hey, you know, they probably don't got no for YouTube and shit like that, but you got to get hands too to make it to that point. They got to, like, know your name. Like, all the dispatchers got to know you. Oh, he's a good guy. Oh, he's gonna, he'll run, he'll run. Yeah, he'll, he'll run a thousand, four hundred miles a one day. Like, you got to be that type of guy. Basically, you got to be, you know, you got to be somebody, you know, in jail, be somebody big. You got to be one of them type guys. And I said it. I said it. You got to be that one of them type guys. So basically, you make money. You know, some couple, you know, you make to make some money in. That's why I said it. Ain't no real man who buy his business and, you know, all that is going to make no money in, bro. I don't care who you is. You're not, you're not going to make no money in. So do not get no truck here, bro. Do not get no truck. Let's care if it's a hundred dollars a year. They're gonna find a way. If you make nine they they're gonna, they're gonna find a way to bring all that down to so you getting even a thousand. Even a thousand. You go to eight hundred and fifty, something like that. So that's it for me. Have you dropped off the truck already or are you in the midst of the in the midst of it? I'm like an hour and a half away now. Two hours. All right. Well, just make sure you just drop off the truck, man, and just, you know, just drop it off. Take this as learning situation, and hopefully the nets go around. You you know better, you do better. Now, I learned my lesson, man. That they don't. You look, man. Like the Bible said, man. It takes three witnesses, man. Somebody be right, man. Every time somebody say you know, that, it's like thirty five hundred thousand freaking witnesses for ego, bro. I didn't follow the scriptures, bro. Look what happened to me, bro. You know what I'm saying, look what happened to me, bro. Uh, in too deep, like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.